morning, day 45. It's that day. It's the day, it's that day that we load the combine again. It feels like it hasn't been done in a year. Let's hope I don't mess something up. <laughs> He's moving the truck right now so that it's not in this mud hole right here. And then the next step will be to get the combine on the trailer. Day five shows us how we load the combine in detail. Gotta go. Like I said, go to day five to watch how we get this loaded all the way. down, banners on, lights on, flags on. So the next step is to back her into the grain trailer. And then we should be ready to go. this farmyard for the year. There's a whole year that goes around before we head back again. So we'll see what the upcoming year brings. Otherwise, it's been good. Catch you later. Chase Kansas Farmyard. We almost took up residence. <laughs> Maybe we should have. But if we don't break down, we won't be we won't be the only cutters left down south anymore. <laughs> you think we're the only ones left? Well, we're gonna start passing them tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> right. That's right. We will, won't we? There's a museum here in La Crosse that I've always wanted to go to, right through those trees. And 
and it's all about the fence posts and the barbed wire of Kansas. Someday, someday, I'll get through that museum. In the meantime, we're back in La Crosse again. So it was decided that as late as it's getting, that we would just pull into the fairgrounds here at Oberlin for the night. It does feel pretty humid, so I hope those storm clouds aren't going to produce something that we have to sit on the edge of the bed and wait out. 